Okay, so um, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I render my videos and what I use to record it and all that. Um, I've already done one of these videos before, but it's kind of outdated. I don't use the settings that I did on there anymore, so I thought I'd redo it. So obviously, first you need Fraps. Well, the programs that I use mainly are uh, Sony Vegas um, and Fraps. They're the only two. One that one's to record and that one's to um, obviously render, and then obviously you need Minecraft to play <laughs> but when you open up fraps you'll get this um the only one you want checked is that one well you don't really need that one if you don't want to uh that one doesn't need to be checked the only reason that is at the moment is because i'm recording the desktop so that's why that one's got the tick in it um in there that's just your overlay settings mine's on the top left hand corner which is there you can't see it at the moment i don't think um and then this is the important one most people would say you need to pull it on full size in order to record in and uh, make HD videos but I always put it in half size that way it lowers the the um, the file size of it and I always keep it on the max 30 frames per second um, and obviously make sure you got your microphone checked or picked whichever microphone you're using make sure that's the one that's there um, oh and that's your hotkey for it Mine's F9 if I want to stop and start recording. But once I've done that, um, the way I record it is, I used to just record like that screen. But I found the the file size was extremely small, but the video quality was horrible. And I was messing around with it, and I'm using Windows 7 now, so I can just drag things up like that. But if I record when it's in full screen like that, um, the file size does go up a little bit, but it's a lot better quality as well. So this is what I'm recording, like um, I just drag and drop it, drag it, I can't speak, drag the window up to the top and it expands full screen. So um, if you've got a computer that can handle it and you want to keep the file size, file size pretty low, use um, full screen, it does make it a lot better to record. Um, but if you haven't, then I would advise making sure that's on full screen and playing the little window. That's if your computer can't handle full screen. But um, once you've done that, once you've done all the recording with F9 and everything, um, if you're using Sony Vegas, it only applies to you. If you're not using Sony Vegas, then well, I'll, you might be able to use some of these settings. I think you can in Windows Movie Maker. I'm not sure about any other programs, but this is um, Sony Vegas Pro 10. So until it loads, <laughs> come on. Okay, I don't know why that's small. Let me just sort this out. There we go. Okay, so I've already got um a clip that I've already recorded. That one. Uh, just remember where you put your fraps files. Mine's in the obviously in the fraps folder. But you drag and drop your video in there, or you can do it through import as well. Uh, where is it there? Oh, I don't do that though. I just drag and drop it in. Um. And then what I do once that in, before I edit it or anything, I right click on it and then click properties and disable resample and then maintain aspect ratio, make sure that's unchecked. And then the maintain aspect ratio gets rid of the black bars. If you because when you're playing full screen there's black bars at the top and the bottom. But that gets rid of that and then the disable resample means that um because if I disable that a sec or put it on smart resample and then play. Sometimes, um, oh, you can't really see it now, but sometimes when you pause it or something, it'll stop halfway through a frame, like when flames, frames are blending together. So it looks a bit blurry, but if you turn that off, then it makes it a lot more um, smoother, so it looks like the frame rate's good. Um, then you can edit it. I don't really use any like brightness or anything, but I do have some. Uh, oh, wrong thing. Um, I got this one, which I don't really use. That's only if I'm in like dark caves or something. I just set it to these. So um, use that if you want on the brightness one. Uh, but I disabled that. I also got um, where is it? Oh there, uh, flashlights. I don't really use these again. But if I was in a really dark cave, then I would. It looks horrible <laughs> as it is now because I'm in the brightness. Where I'm in daylight, so it's pointless. But at night time in like caves or something, it works pretty well. 
So yeah. Um, another thing you want to do is this little button here that says Project Video Properties. Make sure that if you want to do it in 720p, make sure that says uh, 1280 by 720, around 30 frames per second, and then put that to put the field order to none. Then just make sure everything else is the same. So pixel format, 8 bit, uh, best resolution, whatever, motion blur, don't even know what that says, but that's the one it's got to be on. And then the deterrence method is interpolate fields, don't know what that is. <laughs> and then just click apply. I and mean, then obviously you can just edit this, do whatever you want. Um, you know, just shorten it so it's quicker to render. There we go. So once you've edited all that, um, what I always do is actually save it. I'm going to save as and then just save it or whatever because Sony Vegas is weird sometimes. Like, um, I've got the most up to date version of Fraps. But for some reason, every so often a message will pop up saying unrecognized version of Fraps for some stupid reason, even though I paid for Fraps and everything. And it messes the video up, so if you just save it and then reload it, it'll get rid of any black screens or anything. Um, but then you click render as. And then here you make your own template. Uh, just go on anyone and click custom. It doesn't really matter about the audio I find, I just leave it as it is. So the video one, you want um, the Moda's CBR. Oh, actually, yeah. Make sure this is on uh, Windows Media Video 11. And um, that's the format. Set. Um, put the Moda's CBR, the format Windows Media Video 9. Um, keep original size, and that will just copy things that's in the video properties, which is 12 by 720, and the pixel aspect ratio is 1. Um, just leave all that and then make sure this is on 100. For the bitrate, this is what pe most people get confused on. Um, my videos, all the Minecraft videos that I've got, are always on 3.5. And that lowers the file size a lot. It doesn't really change the um, quality of the videos, I don't think. I think they still look pretty good. And I'm pretty sure anyone who watches my videos will say they still look pretty good. Um, but yeah. That's what I use, 3.5. You can sometimes pull it down to 3, but I find if you pull it too low, the video, it jumps. Well, it doesn't jump, it just looks really laggy, and um, it looks like you've only have, you've only got like one frame per second. So I always leave it at 3.5. But if you're not doing it for Minecraft, and you're doing it for something like Team Fortress or Call of Duty or something, I'd put that onto about 5 or 6, because games like that, they seem to demand a higher bitrate. Um, so yeah, if you put it on 3.5 on a, a game like that, it'll make it look like it's running on one frame per second. So um, yeah, I'd say 3.5 for Minecraft and around 6 for any shooters or anything. And then just leave the index and summary. And then this, just make sure that's on best. And then click OK and then you save it. I'll just do that. <laughs> and then save. Um, and then it'll render. And it's going to take long. Well, it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> but yeah, they're the things that I use. Um, so I use Sony Vegas and Fraps. They're the only one, the only things I use. I know a lot of people that use Audacity, and I think that's what it's called. It does help because I record with Fraps for my um, sound, like my microphone, and that takes up a lot of memory apparently. So if you use um, another program like Audacity or something, apparently the file size drops. But yeah, um, once that rendered, you can just upload it and it all looks good, but there's, I'm not going to render it. There's no point. But yeah, they're basically the things I use. I hope this has helped anyone that wanted to know what things I use and uh, what my settings are. Yeah, if you've got any other questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them or send me a message, whatever. But yeah, I uh, I hope this has helped. And um, oh. And about, I want to do some recording for Team Fortress 2, and, and it would be cool if people joined me on it. So, if you want to play on Steam, um, Team Fortress 2, message me, and I'll give you the, my Steam thing, or I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, um, again, I hope this has helped, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.